I think working in the nuclear industry is really exciting. There's so many opportunities. I feel very passionate about what I do. I always recommend working in the nuclear industry. It's very interesting. There's challenges, but with that you get, you get the rewards. You work with people from many different disciplines. You kind of pull together to tackle the problem and work on the project. There is no normal day, <laughs> which is part of the interest to it, I guess. Some days I'll be training clients in, in bid management processes. Other days I'll be trying to understand um, tenders and advice the best way in which companies can go ahead and win those uh, bids. Uh, anything up to actually managing the bids and, and running with a team um, for some large proposals. Any one time we have tens and tens of live projects in a mixture of sizes, which is brilliant from a growth perspective because you can start a very small project and kind of work your way up. We have a really strong team from, from different backgrounds uh, who work well together, some technical, some non-technical, but we, it really means we can learn from each other and always improve. I personally recruit uh, as many women into the um, nuclear industry as possible and we've seen with graduates at the moment with environmental degrees and other engineering degrees there are more women joining the industry. It's a fantastic industry to be in. Uh, I've been in the nuclear industry now for about 12 years and although it's been different every one of those years, everyone's been a challenge and everyone's been really exciting. Not only is it good for you and good for your career, but you really feel like you're making a difference. We're helping keep the lights on in the UK and striving for a low carbon economy, which is a global concern at the moment. We're always going to have energy demands and we're always going to have the trilemma of security, low carbon and affordability. So until that disappears, which won't be for a long time, it does look very promising. We understand um, the safety aspects of nuclear, we understand the waste aspects, and we see it as a very viable technology. It's much safer now than it ever has been, and it will continue to become safer as years to come. We have to use nuclear um, if we're going to meet the energy needs of the future. We operate across the UK and globally as well, so we have offices in almost every major city. I think fundamentally you are making a difference. You're helping to achieve a low carbon economy and a safe, secure, stable price power generation source. What I'm looking for is something that interests me on a day-to-day -day basis and so far I've been getting that and more. The nuclear industry has provided me so much. There's so many opportunities to develop and get different experiences. You get responsibility and you get a sense of achievement that I would struggle to, to find in other industries, I think. I'd always enjoyed maths and physics, so I talked to my music teacher, and her brother was an engineer, an aerospace engineer, and she said he earned lots of money and travelled the world. So I thought, well, you know, I can give that a go, um, and went to look into what engineering really was, and um, just, just decided it was for me. If you're anything like me, and you like to solve problems, and you like to be challenged and figure things out, and and get a solution, then yeah, engineering is definitely a career path for you. Over the last few years, iMechE have rebranded, refocused and are much more uh, out in the media, out in the general public and trying to reach out really to, to give people the information that they need to make informed decisions about technologies of the future. I'm proud to be an iMechE member and now I'm mentoring new graduates coming through our organisation. The iMechE have been very supportive to me. I joined the Nuclear Power Committee about four years ago and have recently just taken over chair of that committee. But that's a group of people from across the industry so it's very forward thinking which enables us to really look to the future of the nuclear industry and what the people need to know. We've kept nuclear very secret and we've kept the public out of it and didn't talk about what we're doing and we can talk about a lot of what we do and we need to inform the public and engage them so they understand and they come along the journey with us. They do seem genuinely interested about finding out and I think if you can give them the facts um, then they tend to be more in favour. The next 10 or 15 years are going to be absolutely exciting in the industry. We're looking to build uh, new reactors here in the UK. Some of the work has already started and uh, some of the young generation uh, network are involved in that work already. So we see very much a positive future for nuclear here in the UK. Seven reactors coming offline by 2023. There's just so much going on that the industry is going to be growing and will continue to be a thriving industry. I love my job. <laughs> I'm one of those crazy people who absolutely loves getting up every morning and going to work. Can't wait for the future.